videos to download the program. Uh, we've upgraded the firmware. We've changed the IP address of the PDMM. Now we have to download the new program. But first we have to set the port on the PC. So I go over here and start. Then I hover over control panel. And I come over and I go to network sharing. Open that up. We go to change adapter settings. We go to local area. Opens that window. We go to properties. And then we go to Internet Protocol version 4 and we click properties. You can see that it's at zero. Now we want to go to 50. Okay, now I'm just going to hit enter. And then I'm going to close this and close this. And just exit all of this. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure that that worked. So I'm going to type in CMD. Opens our window again. I'm going to ping that new address. Ping 192.168.50.101, the new IP address of the PDMM. And you can see we have replies, so that means we're connected. So now I can close this and I can launch uh, Cole Morgan IDE. That's the programming software. So now that's going to open up. Now we need to open our program. So I'm going to just go to recent programs, otherwise you could open and then browse to it, but I know that it's already here. So I'm going to open the new program. Okay, and there it is. It's going to open up. Wait till it completes opening. Great. Now I'm going to connect. Okay, you can see we're connected down here. And then you have the, the new program, and you have the program that's in there now. So what we're going to do first is stop the PLC right there. Okay. Then we wait a second, and then we, we're going to download, compile and download. So click that. So it's going to go through a compilation. It takes a little bit. And when it's done, it'll download the, uh, okay, saying that there's a different program in there. Yes, we want to download it. So we hit OK. And now it's downloading the new code. This can take a few minutes sometimes. Let it download completely. All right, almost there. Okay, it's done. We're going to close this this window. See the whole program? Now we have to restart the processor right here. Or you could cycle power and that would restart the processor. Okay, so I'm going to go down. And the processor is running again. So we're good.